Thank you for tuning in to Work at Bird Sessions, coming to you from Work at Bird Studios here in Longmont, Colorado. Our show is dedicated to promote the talented musicians of Colorado and elsewhere to introduce them to our audience. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel below, watch any of the most recent or past episodes. You can like us on Facebook, Instagram, and I do tweet now and again. Also, you can become a sponsor on my Patreon page, and that helps fund this program by either contributing per episode or monthly. So please check it out at patreon.com backslash Studios. My name is Christopher Wright, your host. Assisting me with our session is my lovely wife, Lauren Wright, from Lauren Wright Photography. Thanks. Today we have Clay Rose from Gasoline Lollipops with us in the studio today. Clay, how are we doing? Good. Thanks for having me, Chris. Thanks for being here, man. Really appreciate it. Um, it's the holiday season. You got some big shows coming up. Yeah, we got um, New Year's Eve at the Fox Theater. We're going to be great. playing with uh, Lonesome Days and the Al Capones. Nice. To ring in nice. the new year. That's and a good bill. And we may or may not be covering a Credence Clearwater album. Whoa. Yeah. All right. So it just depends on if I learn the songs between now and then. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the rumor. Well, that's a, that sounds like a hoot. Yeah. That sounds like a blast, good. man. Well, Dynamite, um, you got some new songs for us? I do. Awesome. Yeah. You working on a new album? Working on a new album. That's why we would be covering Credence, because uh, we just recorded this new album down in the bayou. Down the bayou, all right. Yeah, so I thought I thought some Credence would be appropriate for New Year's Eve. Absolutely. Well, cool. Uh, what's the first song for us today? Uh, this song's called Dying Young. Dying Young. Yeah. Awesome. Well, um, Clay Rose from Work at Board Sessions. Thanks. When I went to sleep, I was eight years old. The snow was on the peaks It was late July And the ice was coming down the creeks The starlight shined through the pines And cast shadows on my bed I woke up twenty years later With a shadow on my soul instead Now the stars fall just like cannonballs And the rain It comes warm and calm Just like napalm Burning up the memories Of everything we've done They say she's old But I know she's dying young Well, my son, dream your one with the sunlight and make bright the whole galaxy. See once for me what's beyond that cosmic sea, and does it shine eternally, or is this all we got? And do we have a shot? At breaking free Before the stars Fall Just like cannonballs And the rain Comes warm and calm Just like napalm Burning up The memories Of everything we've done they say she's old, but I know she's dying young. Just like cannonballs And the rain It comes warm and calm 
just like napalm Burning up the memories of everything we've done They say she's old, but I know that she's dying young Thank you, Chris. Very Thank nice. You. Very nice. <laughs> Sad but nice. Yeah, it's a <laughs> song about global warming. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's a little. It's a little pick me up on this uh, Monday morning. Is it Monday? It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Feels Wednesday. like Monday. Wednesday. It does. Every day is Monday. That's Every day is Monday, Monday except Friday. <laughs> no, even Friday. <laughs> Friday especially is Monday for me. Really? Yeah, that's usually when I work the hardest. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, cool. Uh, Want to jump into one more? And sure thing. Which song uh, do we have here? Uh, well, this one is is more of a pick me up. This one I wrote for my wife. It's called Gypsy. Gypsy. Gypsy come. Gypsy go, gypsy save my soul, gypsy break my poor heart in two, gypsy steal my bread, gypsy deal me my death, if it's all you got left to cure these blues. Well, I cried myself a river so i built myself a bridge but it's long gone turned to splinters your ship was too big so i cried myself an ocean and i built myself a dam so if sailing is your notion your ocean is what i am Gypsy smile, gypsy weep, gypsy sing me to sleep, gypsy turn out the light when you leave. And in the dark, I will lie just like your sweet lullaby. But in you, gypsy, I still believe. myself a river so I built myself a bridge but it's long gone turned to splinters your ship was too big so I cried myself an ocean and I built myself a dam so if sailing is your notion your ocean is what I am so if sailing is your notion, your ocean is what I am. That's beautiful. Thank you. That's for your wife. That's for my wife. I'm sure she appreciated that. It's one of many. One of many. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> great. Uh, such a great storyteller, man. I, I, I mean, it just... Yeah, it's very visual what you're what you're what you're singing about. Oh, thank you. I love that. I love that. So, um, tell me what's going on with you guys. Tell me what you guys are up to. Big, you got a new album coming out, holiday shows, touring, all that jazz. And I know you're doing all of it. <laughs> I'm doing most of it. You know, I do have yeah. I do have a, a a good group of people around me that help me out. That's um, great. But yeah, for the most part, I'm um, I'm captaining this ship. Captaining is that a word? I think. Yes. Okay. I, Captain Sounds Ning. good. It sounds good. It sounds weird. It sounds good. <laughs> and it sounds feels good. weird. It feels weird to do, I'll tell I'm you sure. that, because that's not uh, historically been my role in life. I've gotcha. sort of been a passenger most of my life. And uh, I think a combination of kids and age and sobriety all came together to form this very peculiar sensation of motivation. So I've been motivated. Gotcha. And, uh, you know, walking that fine line between like motivation and anxiety. <laughs> it sounds exciting. It is exciting. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, um, 
I think it, it's best it's best done with a loose grip, you know. If, yes. if I can sort of let go of the the outcomes and uh, just still go along for the ride, but keep one hand on the wheel. Right. You know? <laughs> exactly. So yeah, we got the big holiday show. We got a new album coming out. Um, we're going down to New Orleans. Uh, in January, right after we go to Belize, we're doing our annual, our fourth annual that's Jazz right. Pops in Belize. I remember that. You yeah. guys should come down for oh, that. Well, that's yeah. on our list. We need to go. Come on down. Gosh. I think there's still affordable tickets, like 400 bucks round trip. Wow. Yeah. And, and, and when, when is that? Uh, January 17th through the 19th. Wow. Yeah. It's like a long weekend. Yeah. You know? So we're going to go down there and then we fly straight from Belize to New Orleans for the Folk Alliance. Cool. Uh, International Folk Alliance, which is in New Orleans this year. Then we go back to Lafayette to Dockside Studios to finish our record. And uh, then we come back and go out on tour. Uh, we're going to go on a tour back down to Texas and then in April up to Chicago and Minneapolis. It's a wild, yeah. wild ride. Um, when's the album release? We don't know because we're going to be shopping yeah. it around to labels. Gotcha. Uh, from like February to May. And then we should know by May, you know, who's going to pick it up, if anybody or else we just release it ourselves. And it'll probably be sometime this summer, summer of 2020. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Um, so just what are your what are your hopes and plans or what are your hopes for 2020, I guess? Uh, to stay alive. To stay alive. Yeah, okay. Pay the rent. Pay the um, rent. Make a lot of music. Another thing we got going on, I knew there was a gap there because we go on tour in March, we get back. At the end, at the beginning of February, so for that whole stint, we're doing an all original ballet with Wonderbound Ballet Company. Very cool. Yeah, it's based on a gas pop song called "The Sandman," or Santa Maria and the Sandman, Very nice. and uh, it's a western, and it debuts on uh, Valentine's Day. So, really? Awesome. Yeah. If people want to learn more about that, they can go to Wonderbound.com. Wonderbound.com. Yeah. Cool. I'll put that in the check notes out as well. All the details about that. Well, that's, it sounds like uh, it sounds like you have a heck of a year ahead of you. Yeah, I mean, I guess the the goal would be to get picked up by a label and not have to do so much of the managerial work and spend more time on the creative side of things. Because sure. uh, the band and I really hit a groove this last year of collaborating and writing together. We also wrote a lot of these songs with my mom, who's a songwriter from Nashville. I remember and, you saying uh, that? Yeah, that's awesome. So she's been writing with us. Is she and, on the album? Uh, she's not singing, but her words are on it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, a lot of her words are on it. And then my buddy Max Davies that I grew up with, he's been co-writing with us as well. And my childhood friend Scott Coulter has joined the band, and he's on keys and organ and just killing it. So there's a lot of creative inspiration. And Sounds it. I, my only limitation is time. You know? Time, yeah. That's, so I would like yeah. to pass the managerial baton on to somebody who can do it right <laughs> and get back to what I'm good at. I, I completely understand. Well, excellent. Well, uh, best of luck with you for, with with that. Um, we got time for one more. If you're if you're good. One more, yeah, yeah. sure. Uh, here's one that me and my buddy Max wrote together, and uh, it's sort of a balance between that depressing song that I started with and the happy song. Okay. It's happy sad. Happy sad. Yeah. All right. It's called Taking Time. Great. Taking time to make time and spend it all on the ones I love. But when I get home, I see what well, I've been blind to the things that a home is really made of. Empty room where children play. I've 
I'll be leaving town tomorrow and chasing down an American dream. They tell you heartbreak and sorrow are just a part of making the scene. Empty room where children play Empty bed where lovers lay Empty highway and a heart full of longing today When dawn finally breaks on this lonely night I will see your face fade into the light of a noon day Yeah, absolutely. That's a perfect way to end the show. Right on. Awesome. Um, like to thank Clay Rose for being on the show today. It's a fantastic pleasure, uh, as always, having you here, man. Um, if you're a fan of Colorado music, please help us support this program by becoming a supporter on my Patreon page. Just go to patreon.com backslash workerbird studios. Contribute per show or monthly subscription. Highly appreciated. And uh, please check that out. Uh, you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking subscribe under this video. I'd like to thank my wife, Lauren Wright, for shooting video on this episode. Thank you. For more information on gasoline lollipops, go to gasolinelollipops.com. That's it. That's it. Awesome. Put all that, uh, including the Wonder... Wonderbound. Wonderbound. Yeah. On the show notes, for sure. Um... Let's do another shout out. Uh, shout out to New Year's Eve, uh, Fox Theater, Gasoline Lollipops, Lonesome Days, Al Capone's, Bonnie and the Clyde's, Danny Schaefer, Many Mountains, all kinds of guest appearances. Holy mackerel! Yeah, nice. That's <laughs> that sounds fantastic. Um, have a great holiday, and you too. Um, again, such an awesome pleasure. Great seeing you, man. Yeah, thanks and, for having me. I'll uh, see you next time. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, thank you again for tuning into Work at Birth Sessions here from Work at Birth Studios in Longmont, Colorado. The end. The end. The end. The end.